what you've got to do is realize, and, and this is what most people kind of have a problem with, is that they kind of think that, well, if I just kind of get more efficient or if I organize my time, then I'll be able to make a big difference. It's like a short circuit in people's mind, right? They think, okay, time is my problem, right? Time is my problem. And so if I could just fix my time problem, then I would be able to do a lot of these other things. And the problem is it's not about time. It's about how do I look at restructuring the revenue to free up time, okay? And no matter how many, how, how, how much more efficient you get with allocating and technology and all these things, if you don't restructure the pricing to make your time worth more, you're not gonna make a massive change. I had a client the other day on a call who none of the staff is meeting with the clients on a monthly basis. And that the owner's not meeting with the clients on a monthly basis. They're all doing monthly recurring accounting. And there's a problem with clients leaving. Yeah, no shit. And he's, we're charging good fees for monthly recurring accounting, right? So not, not the best fees ever, but pretty good. But if nobody's talking to the clients, and then I said, well, why aren't we? It's like, well, that's not my job, that's the team's job. Well, like, we need to be more focused on the clients than whatever individual bias we might have for comfort. Like, are you more interested in helping the clients? Or are you more interested in being comfortable? And that's a choice you have to make. And so I think the main question here with this point was on this messaging. Can your staff do this messaging without you? The answer is, you know, they will be able to innovate on it 100%. They will be able to track it 100%. But you need to be freaking interested in it. If you think you don't have a pricing problem, you definitely have a pricing problem. Everybody's got a pricing problem. I got pricing problems. So pricing is always the number one leverage point for you to free up your time. And if you're not making any, and if you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm gonna do a 10% price increase, it's not gonna do anything. All that's gonna do is get people pissed that you made a change and you're just trying to charge them more for the same stuff. It's not a reinvention, right? When you double the fees on these low-end clients, it's, it's a total reinvention. And um, honestly, even if you're scared, send it out to a small group first, right? And see how it goes. The number one thing that we need is the decision, right? So if you have not decided, I, so I sort of tell people sometimes, let's say, you know, you're like, wanna lose 300 pounds. Oh, it'd be nice if I could lose 300 pounds. I'd like to lose 300 pounds. I can tell you right now, that person's not gonna lose 300 pounds. Until the person says, I don't care what it takes, I don't care how much it costs, I don't care what I have to do, I'm gonna lose 300 pounds. That person has a chance. And so the number one thing you have to do is sit down with yourself and say, have I made a decision to grow my business? If you're not meeting with five, seven, 10 people a week, the math doesn't add up. You're not gonna get there. And if, and if you're just sort of sitting there waiting for referrals, uh, ain't nothing gonna happen. Nothing gonna happen. So you've got to make the decision, number one. Number two, you've got to start getting in front of people. Now, even if I even if I told you, oh, I don't know how to get in front of people. Well, okay, fine. You need to, whether you work with a company like ours or you work with somebody else, you need to get a system together to get appointments and preferably people that have high revenue, people that have a high income, people that have investable assets, people that can do tax planning, CFO, wealth management, right? A actual business owners that are gonna make sense. And so if you wanna grow this freaking business, you gotta make the decision, commit to it, no matter how much pain comes, right? Because I can tell you on day 72, trying to lose 300 pounds ain't gonna be fun, right? So it doesn't matter how much pain comes. Number one, make the decision, no matter how much pain comes, I will grow this business. Number two, make the commitment to get as many freaking appointments as possible. Make that, you know, you got God, you got family, you got health, after that you got appointments, right? Appointments is the very next thing. And that I have to get that appointment number before I do anything else. And if you do that, and if you, you make that decision, and you go after the appointments, I can tell you, you're gonna have a much better year next year than you did this year. What you're probably realizing if you're watching this and you're paying attention, you probably sold the wrong services to the wrong people for the wrong price. That's where you probably are right now. And I've been there, I've been there. And so you gotta ask yourself, who do you really wanna work with? What services do you really wanna offer? And what do you really wanna price them for? And that is exactly what I help people do in our program. If you have this sort of disdain for sales, ooh, I don't wanna be salesy, it's probably because you don't understand how to create value for a client in a sales con consultation. You have the mentality that you're gonna make it great. You will be able to get people to be able to make better stuff than you. Some of my marketing that's done by my team is better than me. Some of it is, they come up with cool ideas and interesting ideas. But if they see, if they see that you hate it and you're resistant to it and you're not interested in it, I am interested in everything in my company, every single piece. I'm interested in everything. There's nothing I'm not interested in. Because if they see you're not interested, why are they gonna care? If I were to take your calendar for the last month and I were to look at it, and then I were to go to your P&L, right? And take your chart of accounts. And I would take every line item on your chart of accounts, okay? And I were to apply it to your calendar. So, okay, this hour we worked on software. This hour we worked on cost of sales. This hour we worked on you know, employees. This hour we worked on revenue. How many hours in a month have you allocated towards revenue? So if you take your P&L, river, apply every chart of account to every single hour there, how many hours do you spend on revenue? It's not enough. 
It's not enough. You need to get it together. If you're doing 100,000 in sales and you wanna do a million, you need to spend 90% of your time, or it needs to feel like you're spending 90% of your time on revenue. You need to make it a priority. And then you will have the money to be able to hire people to do the work for you and with you.